Oh my gosh, look at this big thing. Oh my dear lord. What is that thing? What? Stop right now. What is that? Oh my gosh. No way. Did you get a four wheeler? Oh my gosh. Hit the subscribe button, smash that like button each video, dislike it if you choose, unsubscribe if you want, whatever. You're here, we appreciate it. Just watch the video, put a comment down below on what you like or want to see different next time. But just take the time to enjoy this day. Super grateful as always. You guys keep being awesome, keep being amazing, and keep on influencing the world. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back or to the channel. So Christmas was just yesterday, so today we are out trying this new X-Pro 40cc ATV for kids. And this is the Chinese ATV, four-wheeler, whatever you want to call it, from Santa Claus. He dropped it off personally to Asher and he's super excited for this thing. So what we're going to do is kind of take a look at it, go over some of the features, although I don't claim to be an expert at all. But I wanted to have a video on the internet, so if you are considering buying one of these, is it worth the money? See for yourself. We'll get this thing fired up, show you a couple action shots or what have you. And then you can decide for yourself, is this the right thing for me and my children? Again, we're super stoked that Santa come through for us on this one. Didn't cost us a dime. So anyways, let's get right into it. X-Pro. ATV. Oh yeah, look at all the snow coming down. Oh, look at the Dirty Max. She looks good in the snow though. Oh gosh, I love it. But anyways, check this out. Here it is, the 40cc X Pro tucked in the back of the Jeep. Let's get this thing out. We're going to fire this bad boy up. Day one of ownership. Let's get it out and take a peek and then we'll get right on it. All right, before we get all ripped up in the snow and get this thing dirty, let's use the ring light here and get some glamour shots real quick of this bad boy. Just got it loaded up with gas, spilled a little go figure. But now we got fuel in it so we can close it up and then get to priming this sucker. So I don't think there's too much to it. We just made sure that right here that it does have oil in it, which it does, which is great. But I think it's just a pull start. There's no battery. So there's just a key here that we should be able to turn on. There's the throttle right there. Nice little kill switch you can attach to the operator, so if they were to fall off for whatever reason. It's kind of like a jet ski, so we make sure that's on nice and tight. This, I don't know if this is for the lights or might be for the engine. I should read the manual, but we'll turn everything to on for now and get to cranking and see if we can get this bad boy to fire. The next day. take the straps off too. Whoa. That way we can unstrap it. Should I go get grandma? There. Yeah. Thank you, Bubba. And then we'll get that down out of the truck and we'll be ready to rip, won't we? Go ahead and get on.
So initially, I think it's super cool. It's got plenty of power, especially for the youngster. Nothing crazy. I put it between like one of those cheap Walmart battery ones that could barely go on dry ground. You can see this thing's tearing it up in the snow, which is super cool to know that it has the ability to do it while still being at a good price point. So it's not like one of them KTM or Polaris that are super expensive because you don't know is your kid actually going to want to ride it all the time or not. Now, if he does, whatever, then we can upgrade at some other point. But to teach them the basics, I think this thing is right on. It really sucks that it doesn't have a battery though, so there is no electronic start. So we've been ripping and ripping on it, trying to get this thing fired. It did take a while, so maybe it's because it's in the break-in stage or what have you, but definitely would have paid more for a battery and an electric start, but they just didn't offer it. So anyways, you get what you pay for, that's fine. Otherwise, it's running super good. The brakes are a little bit tight on there, so we're gonna have to try to loosen up them brakes somehow because Again, it, we don't want them burning up or anything like that, but initial reaction, he's stoked on it. That's what matters most. And then as a parent, you can rest assured, you know, for, for the price point, it's certainly paying off thus far. Obviously, we've had it a day, so this isn't like a one-year review or two-year review or something like that. We'll see how long it lasts. All right, so here's a side comparison next to a full-size quad. Just because a lot of the pictures on the internet don't do it justice, you can't really tell the size. So I wanted to pair it up against mine here so you can see exactly what the size looks like for your little kiddo. So yeah, here it is. And again, we did do some brake adjustments so that way it's easier to stop. And this little screw right here can adjust the throttle so you can tune it down or up to make it go faster or slower. Whatever you're comfortable with, obviously. And yeah, sweet little machine, I say. And they do have a bunch of different colors too. Santa picked out this one, but this is perfect because it's kind of got a blend of all the different colors, kind of like a monster design type deal. But anyways, guys, look at this bad boy. Real tires, real air, real suspension, nice shocks in there. Does have headlight bezels, but no headlights. So we're gonna try to get on Amazon and maybe see if we can get some headlights for it. What else, the seat? Pretty comfortable, a little firm, whatever. It does have a cool little flag holder. You can get a flag for it too. On off switch, the spare key is at home safely. Gas tank, and not much to it. One thing that I do wanna mention here, I don't know if you guys can see in here, there's a choke to help it start easier. So if you have that choke on, when you crank it, fire right up. No reverse, so it's only a forward only operation, but see, it just wants to pull. Sounds super good. Try to fire up this one too. So, so you can kind of hear the Polaris idling. This one's a little bit louder. You can hear it over the Polaris, but noise level not too bad asher likes it because it's real he likes it because it sounds real polaris idol is a lot quieter but that's okay okay and now we'll put it next to the walmart junker so you can see what it looks like all right so it is quite a bit bigger than that one and quite a bit smaller than the polaris so i did want to mention too real quick that i can muscle it up into the jeep by myself into the back of the truck, it was kind of heavy, so I did end up having Tori help get this thing in the back of my truck. So again, you can move it, but it is kind of heavy, so might need a pair of ramps. Overall, a great deal. Super happy with it so far. Check out some of the reviews on Amazon. See what you all think for yourself. I am gonna link this guy's video that we went through for the setup of this thing. This dude did an awesome job, so shout out uh, to this gentleman here. But anyways, leave some comments below on what you think. Have you tried this? Have you tried other similar products? And what is your experience with young kids and quads? Drop some feedback below. Thank you for all the love and support, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Two thumbs up. Bye. But is it mama approved? That's what we need to know. It's still giving me a heart attack. But... It's still giving a heart attack?
but he's actually good. He's good, so it is mom approved. <laughs> That's what we wanted to hear. <laughs>